the faster you move, right, the slower time, time. ticks for you, right, as others view it relative okay? to the observer. Relative to the observer, correct. You don't know anything's happening, right. Your clock still ticks as far you still got your your heartbeat, all of this. Okay, so this is not a physiological thing. It is an actual property of the fabric of space and time under those conditions. I watch you fly by, and the faster you go, the slower time ticks for you, okay? But my time stays the same. To you. To me, right. To you. So not only does speed do this, also the strength of a gravitational field will have the same effect on you. Oh. The stronger the gravitational field is, the slower time ticks for you. Once so, again, it makes sense because you're dealing with the fabric of space-time. It's the fabric of space-time, correct. Wow. Okay. But initially, when formulated, you're thinking it's just because you're moving, right. but it's, it's, it's actually way deeper than that. Let's keep going faster and faster. Okay. Let's go half the speed of light, three no quarters right. the speed, 90% the speed of light, 99% the speed of light. Mm -hmm. Time is ticking slower and slower and slower. For you, you will watch the whole future history of the universe unfold in front of your eyes as fractions of a second go by for you. As you go 99, there's a formula for this, of course, but 99, 99.9, 99.99% the speed of light. Because you're the observer of that, of but that. for you, your time has slowed to the point where as you observe the things that are not moving at the speed of light, you see them Speeding, uh, Basically, correct. Basically, you see Speeding them up. unfold. Correct. Boom. I didn't even get to the part where I lose sleep. Okay. By the way, by the way, um, there are particles that decay. You've heard of like radioactivity, right? Yes. It's right. one part, it decays and becomes another part. It releases the often deadly energy. Yes. Okay, radioactivity. All right. right. Some particles, let's take, for example, the uh, proton uh, or the, the muon. One of these, uh, it decays in like six minutes when it's left out in the in the wild, okay? When it's not part of an atom. Okay. Uh, when it's not in captivity, uh, I forgot which of these, but it doesn't matter for my example. It decays in like six minutes, okay? Okay. What happens if you take that particle and speed it up in a particle accelerator? So you take a, 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 a community of these particles, speed them up, calculate, wait a minute, the internal wristwatch on these clocks says they should live longer. And sure enough, their decay time takes longer. Wow. That's, oh my God. Yes, yes. So the, oh, wow. Yes. And that becomes, yes. that becomes living proof of what yes. Einstein said. Yes, because we can't go half the speed of light. Right. But you can accelerate a particle to do that. Yes. It has an internal built-in clock that decays after a certain amount of time, and there they are taking longer to decay in the exact amount that Einstein predicts. That okay? is genius. So we don't make this stuff up.